Quintus, together with their partner, Altitude Angel, delivers a highly reliable module end-to-end -end framework to connect UTM and ATM systems around the world. The demonstration shown in the following video is based on a real scenario where an operator intends to fly a drone within the horizontal limits of the Madrid control zone. First, the airspace owner, here the air traffic control unit responsible for the Madrid control zone, defines a certain portion of airspace and sets the rules under which a drone operation is allowed. This includes visual line of sight flights in a defined area or beyond visual line of sight flights entering, crossing, or leaving the controlled airspace. In this demonstration, three areas were defined with different rule settings. Area 1, in the north, where all drone operations are rejected automatically. Area 2, in the middle, where all requests for drone operations are generally granted. Area 3, in the south, where air traffic control can decide to take or reject the drone flight based on the current traffic situation. All necessary information for a safe operation are indicated to the drone operators via the Guardian mobile application, shown here, and the drone safety map provided by Altitude Angel. The application provides information about potential risks and restricted areas close to the desired spot of operation. Here it informs the operator about a high-risk area, the control zone of Madrid. For visual line of sight flights, a simple click on the desired geographical location is enough to open the flight plan dialog. Here, the operator states mission-related information and creates the flight plan. The drone flight plan is converted by an Altitude Angel UTM integration service and processed in the Frequentis Comsoft CADIS ATS system in a standard DOC 44 44 compliant format. CADIS ATS is the interface between UTM and ATM system components. The flight plan is forwarded via ADA NG, an ATM grade message handling system provided by Comsoft Frequentis. The reception of this information triggers the creation of an electronic flight strip displayed to the air traffic controller by the smart strip system developed by Frequentis. According to the current traffic situation, the air traffic controller decides on an ad hoc basis whether to take or reject the request by selecting the respective option on the electronic flight strip. If the flight request is rejected by air traffic control, a notification message will be automatically generated and sent to the drone operator. If the flight is accepted, the drone, represented by the electronic flight strip, can be integrated into the overall traffic picture. In addition, the drone operator receives the permission to operate the drone as requested per mail or text message. In critical situations, or to give priority to other airspace users, the air traffic controller can contact the drone operator via a voice communication system provided by Frequentis. To protect air traffic control from multiple calls, only the air traffic controller can contact the drone operator. As expressed in the demonstration, Frequentis and Altitude Angel provide mature, safety-critical infrastructure components and the latest state-of-the-art technology to ensure safe integration of UTM and ATM. Our priority is to increase safety and in breaking the barrier by enabling collaboration, coordination, and communication between all air traffic control units and drone operators.